Right. So my question is, yeah. what I saw this morning yeah. with Jason, mm -hmm. uh, I know others could do that, mm -hmm. but I'd like to get to a place to where I could be able to help in the healing process, mm -hmm. and this, this, this workshop is part of that. Yes. So help me understand you know, what can I do after this workshop? What should I do in the future to get myself to a place to be able to, you know, like with Pastor Bob there, or, mm -hmm. or clinicians back here, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to get to a place to help like you did with Jason this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, how can I get there? Well, the, the first thing is what you're doing, which is you're dealing with yourself, okay? Right. Because to be an effective helper, to be an effective caregiver, you don't have to be totally healed. You don't have to be totally recovered. But you need to know your own stuff. And you need to be able to recognize it. The it'll, biggest it'll problem, trigger. right, it'll trigger your own stuff and so you need to know how to do it. But the other thing is, right. is that if you can't distinguish between yours and your clients, you know what, then you're doing your work, not your client's work. Okay, now when Jason and I were talking, I'm telling you, it triggered all kinds of shit in my life. No. All kinds of stuff. And I could have talked to him, I could have said, you know what makes me think about, it. or I feel, you know, and I could have gone a lot of different places. But because I know myself well enough, and I've done enough of my own work, I was able to say, no, Bob, that's all your crap. Listen to him. What's his place? What's he need? So the first thing is, tend to your own healing. Okay, and you're doing that. The next thing is that what you have to do is to be able to stay present with somebody who, when they start to talk about their situation, their condition, whatever they're dealing with, that you can stay in the here and now with them. You don't get triggered to the past or you don't get anxious and jump into the future. Because right. that's what a lot of therapists do is they jump into the future, right? Okay. And you have to stay in the moment. And then, and then, and then